Now to a story we've been dedicated to following vandalism in Amsterdam. In the past month, the city has seen more than its usual amount of crime. Now neighbors are banding together, coming up with new ways to protect their property. And News 10 ABC's Rachel Yonkun has found out how she's been determined to follow the story and joins us now live with more. Rachel? Mark, because the city has seen so much crime in such a short span of time, Amsterdam police have stepped up patrols, but now the community will too. This new website posts information on all crime-related issues in Amsterdam and surrounding areas, keeping people in the loop with just the click of a button. Within one month, Amsterdam police have seen an unusual spike in crime. More than 30 cars had tires slashed and homes on eight streets were vandalized, one being Locust Avenue, where BB guns and rocks were thrown through several windows. That's where James Glorioso lives. Fortunately, he was one of the lucky ones. I have seven cameras on my house. Uh, yeah. for these types of reasons. <laughs> and the first thing I did was go to my cameras to see if they were near my house. So he created this website called Mohawk Valley Crime Prevention Network to raise awareness here in Amsterdam, but also across county lines. It has information from surrounding areas about recent crimes and possible suspects. It really collaborates, not just in, in Montgomery County, it brings all the PDs in Fulton County, uh, Herkimer County, Albany County, Schenectady County, all together and give us information so we can put it out to everybody. Aside from social media, community leaders are also coming up with ideas to combat crime. One of them involves giving kids something else to do. We think that, you know, it may be a youth um, thing. So one of the things that we're really trying to do is have more youth involvement and more activities. Amsterdam police tell me they are getting a lot of helpful tips from the community on these crimes. They're also looking into surveillance video and social media. Now, on December 17th, there will be a citywide meeting here to talk about those crimes and about community involvement. Live in Amsterdam, I'm Rachel Young Kunis, News 10 ABC. Thank you.